Good morning, Herr Foxig. Herr Foxig. Let me pronounce your name correctly. Hello, Eve. Kinda. So, Peter Fox, like, I do have a question. Um, because I know that the H E R R, the Herr, is more of like, it's kind of like Mr. Not literally, but like, it's the same type of word, whatever that is. What does it actually mean? Like, it, it doesn't literally mean like Mr. or Sir, right? But it's kind of like a title, isn't it? Despite having a German name, I know very, very... No, yeah, it's literally Mr. Okay, cool. Hi! 
Hi, welcome everybody. Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann. Today is Thursday, March 7th, 2024. We're going to continue our replay of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, we have uh, one or two streams left until we finish the base game and then one or two streams to play through the DLC. Uh, and then afterwards, we will be jumping into Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which my collector's edition is this box that you can see behind me. And so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, not really a whole lot else to talk about or say. Uh, my two crazy weeks of work are over, which is great because it means that I can hopefully try to get back to a normal schedule when it comes back to, uh, when I say normal schedule, I, it still will mean kind of like not set days during the week. Uh, just cause with my new job, my ability to stream like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is kind of like up in the air. Uh, Fridays are pretty reliable. Sundays are reliable. Um, but Monday through Thursday are kind of a question. We'll just kind of keep doing it as much as we can. But yeah. So, uh, and then um, I got some more stuff in today. I got some more cables ran for the second setup. So hopefully that's going to be ready soon. I realize I need to do something here. Yeah. No, it's wrong. Yeah. Same in Norwegian, except we chop off an R, so her is Mr. Ah. I see. Okay, cool. Let's jump into some more Final Fantasy, shall we? <laughs> oh, yeah, we got a whole bunch of songs added into the streamer playlist. Uh, we're up to 133? Hun yeah, 133 is what we're up to on the uh, the streamer playlist. Uh, and amazingly, I still have 25 games that I need to try to um, pull, pull songs from if I can. Ah, I forgot to do something. I meant to do this between last stream to this one, which was fiddle my diddle when it comes to some equipment. Um... I'm going to leave it how it is for now. See some boxes. <laughs> Seriously, I don't understand why you two don't just drop off this button. Like, you, you've fallen so much farther than that, involuntarily. I guess this has to be the third ward, right? I think so, but it looks like the door's locked. There has to be something we can do. Let's look around. Gotcha. wonder when someone just creates a hand for Barrett as a mod for the PC version. You know, that is one Whoa. thing... Now they can get across too. We should let Cloud know. That is one thing that disappointed me a bit with the PC release is that I expected modders to do more with Final Fantasy VII Remake and they did not. What are we letting Cloud know? He should be able to very clearly see, whatever. Cloud, can you hear me? We found the door to that ward he was talking about, but it's locked and we can't get it open. All right. About those preparations Hojo mentioned before. I think we're supposed to do something with that. A central terminal. We were fiddling with some sort of control panel. Do you see a way to get across now? Sure, switch parties. I've fallen from two story heights and went All fine, right. but I never jumped down one we'll willingly. Yeah, but you're terminal. also not, you know. Sit tight until you hear from us. You're not, you're not them. You know what I mean? Like, they're like fucking. What kind of research is this? The beyond human. came from the stars, Genova. Hojo has devoted half of his life to her study. I don't give a shit about any of that. 
The experiments in this facility involve the enhancement of life forms and machines through the application of Genova biological data. Hojo's plan is to pit his subjects against us, thereby facilitating their growth. <laughs> so this asshole thinks he can treat us like his experiments. I know what fate awaits these creations. Let us put them out of their misery. Sometimes the image limits what modders can do, like in Kingdom Hearts 2. The most useful mods are skipping parts of the game, not actually adding stuff. Yeah, and I mean, I, I wouldn't have thought that was the case with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because Final Fantasy VII Remake is, um, is Unreal Engine. Does this do anything? Not unless I like... Okay, I gotta switch to Barret. Cause this dude's just gonna fucking... Oh, uh, you attacked the wrong dude. That one, please. How'd you like that? I got you. Do you have a melee attack? I think the answer is no. Take him down. Say your prayers. You don't mind if I feel you for the whole This enemy's dumb. I can't even like dodge into it. You're fine, walk it off. Yeah, most of the mods that came out for Final Fantasy VII Remake when it hit PC, they were almost all exclusively mods that were just like outfit swaps. And that's really kind of it. Was just like, put Tifa in a bikini. Uh, make Cloud always wear his dress. Shit like that. Switches. One for each ward. What the? Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. Access the central terminal. The door should be unlocked now. Any one of Hojo's twisted creations can be in that ward. Be careful. We will. See you in a bit. What's in here?
most downloaded mods are either nude dress mods or dynamic resolution disabler which is that second oh did you go and check like what mods were available on uh nexus mods eve Yeah, there is unfortunately nothing substantive. You can do it. Okay, let's go. Watch yourself. How about it's your turn? All set. Bring it. You're up. So it's my turn. One more shot. This'll keep him away. All right, cool. Done with that. Done with that weapon ability. That weapon ability seems utterly terrible. So we can switch Aerith over to one of our other weapons now. Yeah, that ability just seems awful. All right, what do we need to do with this one? Uh, strike a staggered enemy. Okay. Hey, Fender. Yo, is this the one with all the himbos hanging out in a car road trip? Best Final Fantasy uh, game. Prove me wrong. What is this place I can't for? prove you wrong. There's a sadness. Speaking about nudes, Steam has added the ability to private games now. Is in beta release for all to test. Ah. Light the hat, is that the only one you own? The only, the only game, I, only hat I own that is Forrest Gump themed. Yeah, there we go. It's the only one I own that's, that's Forrest Gump themed. Oh, I thought I'd open that. Do you think he I really wish you wouldn't. Never mind. Good luck. I'm coming. Gotta go for it now. I'm feeling pretty fast. Just a little should help. Finish him off. See if the open. Here goes. This one's for you! Mm -hmm. I've got this Abilities... What am I using? This thing. Ray of Judgment. God, yes. We'll make it quick. Oh wow, that dealt a shitload of damage. Bless them with your love. Can you take over for me? You want me? There! Bring it! Keep it up! Give them hell, okay? I'll take care of this! Here it comes! One more shot! You've got this! Let me handle this! Go on! You're up! I'll take care of them! Sorry, but I gotta... Oh, dang it. You killed it too fast. Ah, oh, that worked too. Jesus, that ability does so much damage. I don't need all my fangirl ga girls and boys knowing when I'm playing the centaur versus <laughs> snake lady sax game. Oh, uh, why not? Okay, well. Did hitting that button do anything? I realized I didn't actually like follow through and check. I don't think we hit the button. The door opened before we got there. I have to go back.
There are a few that are more interesting. Quite aggressive companions. Kingdom Hearts outfits for Cloud. Level unlocker allowing you to go to 99. Allowing you to play the game as Jesse. Huh. Wonder if that's not a button. Whoa. Here we go. What is it? What might be interesting for the Scooby Squad? We are we are planning on streaming this Saturday. Um, and we are considering like maybe like gang beasts or something. And here's some snarly no-nos. Oh. He looks friendly. Playing heart rate on stream for free. I, I think Athena already has a heart rate monitor that connects to the stream. But I believe Athena only normally uses it when they're playing solo scary games. Enemies seem really sure. easy. I don't know if it's been a while since Athena's played a scary game, just because Athena's stream schedule is even more consistent than mine right now. And I do know that there was a question of the product and the app still getting support because the company that makes it was based in Kiev, Ukraine, um, and they did have to relocate at one point in time. Done looking. That was 10 pages of mods. Most some way or shape nude mods or gender bent mod. Yeah. They're mostly just visual cosmetic outfit. Look. There is. Let's get across with those. There is barely anything that was gameplay related in a meaningful or interesting way. Yeah, this is going to work. I'm amazed they're still on there. Did we wake him up? Yeah, looks like it. Cannot reposition hers. Ow. Take the lead. I'll take care of them. One more shot. Get ready. Can you take over for a bit? Those are quite a few rebalance mods, but they seem more along the lines of make you super strong rather than actually like make the game interesting. Yeah. Playing instruments is strenuous and gets the heart rate up. True. So I got these really, I got these energy drinks sugar free for really cheap, but I'm regretting my choice of even buying them. It's the monster mule. If you know it, I do. And those are awful. I have a coworker that is just like obsessed with trying new things. And I don't mean like I'm going to go, you know, hiking or it's like I'm going to try a new like energy drink or chip or snack or whatever. Right. 
and they know that I like energy drinks. And so very often when they get a new one, they'll buy more than Is this one. Really the exit? And then they'll give me one. And I would consistently say like 19 times out of 20, they're fucking disgusting. I that man, I really do. I haven't had, I don't know if I've had the pink Red Bull. Tried the pink Red Bull twice, didn't taste better the second time. I don't think I've had that one. Um, I can't remember what the last one he gave me was, but it tasted like somebody took a five hour energy and then like watered it down so that it could be put into a bigger can. And it was awful. Gotta go for it now. Gotta go for it now. Ow. This might be it. Go on. It's your turn. I'll take over. We gotta switch it up. I'll take care of them. Do it. Sorry, but I gotta. Bring Sorry, it. but Perfect. you handle it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You're Get in there. there. I can help too. There. Gotta go for it now. Ready? Has she learned this ability? Is it full? Oh, she has. Okay. Well, we need to upgrade her other weapon real quick so that she can use that one and learn ATB Ward. I got 24 Monster Mule for the price of two white monsters. I was like, man, I'll drink it is not the best. But are you actually gonna? Because sometimes things are just too disgusting. Sometimes things are just too gross. My favorite is the Woodruff Rockstar. I don't think I've had that one either. It's hard to get here. Before we relocated, it was everywhere because the flavor is more popular in Eastern Germany. My brain turned battery remix into battery acid. Hey, that's my favorite flavor is battery acid. I mean, admittedly, like I like really, really, really sour candies and stuff. And I imagine that that's like adjacent to like, if battery acid wasn't something that would just outright kill you, it would probably taste super sour, right? I don't know the last time I had Mountain Dew. Maybe like a Baja Blast from, but I don't know the last time I went to Taco Bell either. All right, so what we got to do with this one? Conjure a magical ward. Okay. Of course, like, there's the Mountain Dew energy drinks now. Don't enemies pop out of those? You think now the others can get across too?
Oh, in fact, I know an in not not pops out of these, but the uh, there are enemies that are on those bases. The hammer dudes. <laughs> Cloud? Tifa? We used the control panel here a little while ago, so you should be able to get to the other side. Can you check? Roger that. We're getting pretty bored anyway. Calm down, Barrett. It's getting pretty bored. You two stay there. We'll call if anything comes up. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> Do you ever get to fight the... There's an, a semi-rare enemy in the original game that is literally just a LED stop sign. And you fight it in Midgar HQ about at the point in the game where we're at. We need to open the door first. But I don't remember if that ga that enemy exists in Remake or not. I'm really curious to see what enemies exist in Rebirth when we get there. Also need to see at what point in time we're actually going to start Rebirth. I remember the stop sign. It was a bother. Yeah, it was annoying. It had a lot of health and didn't take much damage. And I remember how every time you hit it, it would like have this crazy animation from getting hit. Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. Like the friggin' book in nine. Speaking of games we have to play. This year is going to be a streaming a lot of RPGs. Because Final Fantasy IX is something that's on the on the docket. It stinks. More Hojo experiments. But Final Fantasy IX is one of the games that me and Athena were going to do for a Power Couple. Commencing test. All personnel must evacuate area. Commencing test. Tough, but doable. Come on. Oh man, that that did I didn't get the counter on that. Feel really cheated. Start rebirth or not, aka buy. So I kind of just want to watch you play an experience and say, We mean so little to me in comparison. Yeah, I mean, you know, whatever works best for you, Eve. Come on. All right, cool. We got the counter chance ability. I mean, you can also always like wait till I play it a little bit and then see if you think it looks fun. And then if it looks fun enough, then you can always, you know, jump into the game yourself. Enjoying your oh, get the fuck out of here, Hojo. Why don't you come down here and ask me? Before you get any ideas, you should know this glass is bulletproof. Huh. No discernible changes after contact. Most fascinating. Hmm. Hey, we ain't done yet. Fall Fancy 9, or I like to call it v Vivi La Vida Loca. I'll accept it. Mm, this way. Wish I could play certain games and instantly delete memories of having them, having played them, so I could play experience them again. 
Yeah, you know, admittedly, my list of games that I would do that with, though, is fairly small. Um, because, like, you know, while people are like, oh, it'd be cool to be able to experience the original Final Fantasy VII again for the first time or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. But I feel like the games that I would most benefit from getting to experience them again for the first time are games that, wow, that's a huge amount of magic defense. But it has no material slots. Makes sense. Okay, that's the trade-off. Um, I feel like games that I feel like there are, are more very specific games that would be good for that. Um, one of the ones that I normally go to is like Shadow of the Colossus, because with Shadow of the Colossus, right? It's a oh god damn it! I fucking hate this goddamn thing. Is there only one? Yes. Okay. Oh, plus a bunch of shit lords. Because like with. Uh, uh, like with shadow of the colossus right one of the things with it is like the shadow of the colossus is a bunch of puzzles in from my perspective and so getting to experience shadow of the colossus again would be getting to experience like the one the wonder of the colossi and also the uh, satisfaction of solving the puzzle that is the Colossi as well. Taking over. No holding back. It's on you. Got him. Yeah. Cloud, I think you fucking missed, bruv. Nothing to it. How'd you like watching your precious toys get torn to shreds? I never grow tired of watching my toys be broken, no matter how many times I've seen it happen. Such is the case when you truly enjoy your work. Now, for the next step. For me, it's different. I wish I could delete memories of other games so I wouldn't compare a similar game to this other game without tainted glasses, so to speak. Yeah, that's, I, I can understand that, especially when you're looking in the realm of like Soulsians, um, where one Soulsian feels so, after you've played a handful of them, they feel so heavily uh, I don't, I don't know if tarnished is the right word, but your ability to enjoy one feels so heavily influenced by those that you've enjoyed before. Look, now's our chance to kill the bastard. Time for you to pay the piper. Mm -hmm. They never learn. Commencing test. All personnel must evacuate area. Commencing test. <laughs> Be a good boy and keep the other pets company. <clears throat> it's a brain pod. Shit, looks like Red might need our help up there. It's the hammer, guys. Don't overdo it. Yes, it's my turn. Golden opportunity right here. Knock on this. Let's do 
Rude. Rude. That still hit me? Crazy. Going in. It's over. Try me. Yeah, thankfully these whack-a-moles aren't too bad, Eve. Oh, okay, I was like, how did Red get up? How are we supposed get to get up there? What was that thing? Where's Hojo? Sorry, he got away. Forget about him for now. Yay, loot. Oh, I need to see if it's time to switch Cloud back to a chain bangle. Is that the the physical version of the other? No. No, it's just... Oh, chain bangle is just a better cog bangle. Okay, don't mind if I do. Noted. Need four of those. Immediately. Upgrade weapons, Cloud. The Buster Sword can't be upgraded. Um, but it is largely from what I can tell pretty much just better uh, you lose a bit of MP uh, you lose quite a bit of MP but you gain some attack yeah, yeah we'll switch to the bus sword anyway it's important it's iconic it looks goodly I think it's time to, for you to switch back to Big Bertha just about, isn't it? Can we get can we get any upgrades out of Big Bertha? What's in there? That's maxed. Some HP there. Oh, it's actually pretty limited on what it has available. We'll just leave him with what he has for now. There was also like 15 different mods to get the fusion sword, whatever that is for Cloud. That's the sword from um, uh, Advent Children. The movie that came out in 2007? Remind me, this ain't a hospital, is it? Test subjects don't receive treatment. They're enhanced or dissected. This guy's a real piece of work. Yeah, uh, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. It was the movie that is the sequel to the original story. Uh, I think it came out in like 2007, yeah. Somewhere around that time. And he remembers us, I think. Here we go. Need a breather. Yes, it's my turn. Oh, 
So I was gonna die of poison while he's stunned. Oh, apparently he can't die of poison while stunned. It's lucky for him. I can't fucking see anything. The game is handling all these enemies very well. Did we win? Let's go. So, since a bunch of this shit got moved, did something get like revealed back here? No. Okay. Surprisingly common in a few games I've seen now. Poison and such only lowers you to the lowest possible hit point. First comes to mind is Pokemon out of battle. Yes, uh, that is correct. They did faint in Gen 1. And I think the original release of Gen 2. In base heart, in base silver and gold, but not in heart gold and soul silver. Fine. One step at a time it is. I don't see it. I'll let Tifa and Aerith know. I don't remember if they did in Gen 3. I don't think they did. I think when we got Ruby and Sapphire is when that ended. Because I played a lot of Ruby and Sapphire, and I don't remember that happening in those. have to be connected somehow. Now I want to play Crystal. Man, I love Crystal. Of course, my favorite of the legendary dogs was Suicune, so I was super biased when it came to crystal being my favorite uh there's got to be a phs around here somewhere Ready to watch this boy flop? It's a PHS terminal. Call up Tifa. See if they can get to the central terminal. Blah. Good job, Red. Oh. Hey, you okay down there? Cloud, you, you targeted nothing with that. Keep it together. Need my help, do you? Damn it! Red! Shit! He 
can't hold them all forever. Red 13 has fallen to a lower level. You can see his HP gauge on the screen, defeat nearby enemies, and save Red before he is overcome. You should call Dick. Right. On it. Tifa, you there? Is something wrong? Red fell to your level. Can you try to get to him? I played mostly blue, red, and crystal with a long break oh, before no. leaf green. Come on. Still have my original yellow even. I probably do fucking somewhere. What good time wasters. I'll show you what I can do. You okay? time errors or can you play both of these it looks like she can only have i can't actually tell i can't tell if she summoned another one or if they're on top of each other i have no idea Doesn't seem to have counted. You jittery? Too bright? Sorry, but I gotta. Seizing the open. Eric leveled up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. It's fine. The only one of the newer games I've been wanting to play has actually been Pikachu and Eevee. I really enjoyed those games. As much as a lot of other people did not, I really enjoyed Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. That's not what I wanted to do. Did she already learn the ATB ward ability, like flat out? I'll take care of you. To make it a potion didn't heal the entire party partially? No, it did not. Let's finish this. Jesus. You okay? I am now. Nice one. Have Cloud and Barrett found anything? Actually, they just found the entrance to the fourth ward. But to unlock it, they have to access the central terminal, which they cannot do from their position. Maybe we can get to it instead. My back. Yeah, let's try. I'm fine.
Love the option to carry one of your bonds around in the world world and give it XP according oh, to the I steps know. you took. I never did that, but I do like that that was an option. I love the more relaxed nature of them, especially the XP share. The goal of actually catching Pokemon giving XP required to hit certain captured X at some checkpoints. Yeah, I enjoyed that a lot too. Look, an elevator. And I remember people being really upset about the game initially because they're like, oh no, they're butchering Pokemon and the, the Let's Go model is just taking over. It's not moving. The professor still has plans for us, I presume. For the record, I don't like this one bit. All that remains is the fourth ward. We must trust in Cloud and Barrett to see it through. But the, po the, the trainer battles were all still the same. I don't want any trouble. Ha! Like, and that was fine. You still got you still got the trainer battles the same way as they were before. Keep it on. It's on you. I'll take care of them. You okay? What? Okay, I was like, what enemies still exist out here? And catch! One more shot! Moving on then. If anything, the game's made the actual collecting part less annoying. Yeah, no, it really complete. did. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. This was a good idea, right? Yep. Like, I really I hope that they do like a Let's Go Togepi or something, and it's Gen 2. Is that you? Yeah, we found an elevator on our side. Good. Glad to hear it. But we can't use it for some reason. Hojo did something, I know it. There's only one thing we can do. Like, I'd really like to go through the Johto region and everything in there, but with the Let's Go model. Thanks. Wait for it there. Right. Now we head back to that door. Wedge wait a while to be rescued. Guess so. You know, he really likes you. Maybe. Friendly guy, but he has a hard time opening up to people. Well, that makes two of us. He's got your back, though. <laughs> makes two of us. I think we get to fight the Re the Re Remoraz. That what that's what it was called in the original game, but it's called something different here. Yeah. Fortitude in this game. Okay, yeah, that, that tracks. About damn time. Stop on this. Wow, that hurts. Check out this shit right here. How? Wow, do you have like? Not really, no. I was like, do you have a good spell to use against this thing? No holding back. Try it. Gotta look. Don't overdo it. Need my help, do you? 
Had to get shake it off, okay? Never pull back. Here it comes. This one's for you. Oh, Aerith, you, you don't do have a, a cure spell so on you. Oh, you I do. You have auto cure. So That's good enough. worked but it didn't work it as well as I feel like it should have How shocking yeah. Don't let him stop us Come back here It's weird. Another example of a Good job, Aerith. Another example of a, a really goofy ass fucking weird enemy from the original game that they turned into a boss. That's enough. He was just his own enemy. Like you just walk around and he could spawn. <laughs> Again, you triumph. <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you didn't. 
Yes, I believe I have just about I love all those the two. data that I those fucking dudes trying to then kick and we are ready to cut to their the way through stage. a big fat fucking bunker door. Boom. Boom. <laughs> yes, we got it to work. The elevator has been unlocked. Could this be a trap? Don't worry, the elevators are safe. All right, if you say so. How do you know, Aerith? Uh, uh. Huh? Are we there already? No, something tells me that we aren't. Call it a hunch. I hear something. These two. We don't have all day, you know. I think it might be locked from this side. Should we open it up then? Time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. working it appears hojo's done having his fun <laughs> glad to hear he enjoyed the show we're back again yeah hey The other controversial change, the change making Genova's blood all purpley and fiery instead of, you know, just red. Kept the game from getting an M rating, though. So what's above this floor? The president's office, and then the roof. Once we get in that elevator, there's no turning back. We're ready. Right? Huh? The elevator back there can take us down to the central terminal again. Now's the time for any unfinished business. All right. Um Let's see. Hello and welcome to the Shinra, Corp Shinra Corporation Science Department application process. To make sure applicants match our corporate identity, we need to ask you some questions. Are you ready? First, take this injection. That's not a question, it's an order. One, as a kid, how often would you strangle kittens? Uh... N n n n n never uh all right execute this applicant bring in the next one
Two, did your ever mother did your mother seem ever so slightly scared of you? Uh, may, maybe s sometimes. Acceptable. Oh, TV, you finished learning that. We can actually swap you back over to the good punch punch gloves. Because we just use you to beat ass. Did we get another new? Oh, we got the force bracelet. Oh, it's terrible. staff do we actually want Aerith to use now? Probably just whichever one has the most magic on it. Mithril Rod looks like the winner there. We have him with the EKG cannon because Barrett's kind of been like a secondary caster for us. All right, what else can we give Cloud? He's got an empty materia slot right now. He's actually got four combined slots. So we could put something in here. anything special to put in there though okay I guess we could put HP absorption here just so that he can heal off the fire materia I, I guess assess materia anymore but do we have a healing materia that you could use that's not like just trash no we only have the three okay yeah that should be fine Are we healed? No, we're hurt. We should go use one of the... One of the little rest stations.
Someone has to stay behind and hold the elevator. I'll do it. Hurry up. Yeah, that's fine. I, like I said, I just need to go sit on a, a bench real quick. Uh, there is not one here. There should be one near one of the ward doors. Keep your cool. Oh. No need to work. <laughs> Maybe right up there is a is a one of the things we're looking for. No, of course this one doesn't have it. <laughs> because of course it doesn't. startled me. One more shot. I wasn't intentionally He's playing. Good. Don't worry. I can fight. I didn't even know you could flee in this Let's game. All set. Gotcha. Good luck. Here goes. Can you take over for me? Come on. It's on you. Let's do it. Looks like there might be one right here. Yeah, 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 all right. Did we shop at this one? Okay. Okay, and now we can go back. Barreth might still be a little roughed up, but he's fine. He's a man. He can take it. Squishy noises. Uh, no, hang on one second. Let me, let me, let me anxiety save one more time. Now we go. Time is at 9.30? Okay. I'm ready to do this. Let's go. Do you also do the occasional triple anxiety save? Uh, do you mean save into three save slots or save three times? What do you mean by triple? Clearly, I have apparently done both because of how I phrased that question. I, 
I have done so before, yes. can't step through the glass oh there was a recovery spot right here now hold on a second I need to take a break is anyone out there no you want I have killed plenty of it <laughs> thing is I don't want your money please Jesus Christ, you are such a strong man. Holy fuck. Just let me live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. <laughs> Barrett! Stop it! You're gonna get on TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then... You're going to tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tao or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet. That we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche. The filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell them that. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? That is what matters most to you. More than shutting down the reactors, than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn. You're lying to yourself even now. Truth, justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra, without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild? You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. 
one last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. The source of everything. Abilities, spells, haste, doesn't matter. It's going to get amplified. Spells. Does anyone have a sass? Aerith does. I'll take care of them. It's immune to slow and stop. It's resistant to magic and sleep. Stagger resistance. Got 60 H 60k HP left. You can do it! Let's do this. Ow. Oh, 
was really rude. Not throwing it. Take care of them. Yeah. One more shot. Mother, 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 I crave violence. No big deal. Can we we take over can you? summon, but Time do we fall. want to summon? Here goes. I don't feel like we want to summon yet. My turn. Who would we even summon? Oh, okay. Because it's not... It doesn't have any weaknesses or anything. Fat Chocobo. It's on you, so it's my turn? Bring it! Ifrit. Aerith has Shiva. Sure. Get him. It's your turn. Let's do this. I've got you covered. It's on you. I take care of them. Spells. Let's rehaste everyone. You can do it. Take it Let's pick up the pace. Ow. I think it might have reflect up. Bless them with your love and grace. It's your turn. I got this. Go on. One bed, this health locks it. Get some rest. Oh, camera, what the fuck was that noise? Why don't you lead the way? Locking on.
you take over Let's for me? Let's do this. Oh, oh, so much badness. Cloud, cut more. Oh, Aerith has stopped. I was like, why is Aerith all of a sudden? Oh, hi, Athena. Cloud, cut all the googlies. Are you done? Ow! Get him. Genova, you're disgusting. You okay. This is all of that's bad. Gotta get closer. Ow. Thanks, Earth. Oh, you bitch! <laughs> it fucking teleported away! She was like, that looks like it's gonna fucking hurt. I better not be there anymore. Ow! Oh, God! Fucking gross. It, it, it's the age rain from fucking uh, Death Stranding. Little did we know that there was a crossover. It's over. Just, just go away. 
Oh, I got it teleported again right as he was about to hit it. Ow. Hang back. Ow. Don't do that. Oh. Do something. The heal didn't go through before he got fucking dropped. Cloud, get up. I'm coming. Oh, I gotta wait for that to go through. There we go. I was like, he heal him, please. It's your turn. Taking over. No, come back. Braver her right in the fucking mouth. You're done. Don't touch that cloud. Imagine Cloud carrying a little baby backpack. He totally would. He'd be grumpy about it the whole time. You creepy bitch. Barrett, don't be dead. Death was not the one ordained for you by fate. Uh. 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 Thanks. Plot Ghost said, You're not supposed to be dead here. You weren't supposed to die. Get back here. You get back alive and you like it, bitch. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried to go a different direction. Sephiroth flies away while the NES DuckTales Moon Stage theme plays. <laughs> Hello? Plot Ghost said you're supposed to be out here to meet the vice president. So get your ass out here. Where are we going? That was a cool looking shot. Sephiroth! Quad Ghost said, you, no, you not touch him. He's not even supposed to be here, but he fucking ignores us for some reason. Let's go for a new anxiety save, shall we? Yeah, baby, that's what we like. <laughs> anyway. Everyone okay? <clears throat> hey, get your man. He got away. 
About time we made our escape too. How many pairs of those you got, bro? I guess a few of these he could have just picked them back up off the ground. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Shit. Sure you want to do this personally, boss? <laughs> Rufus! And people call tw people call Cloud a twink. If it ain't Rufus Shinra, heir to the throne himself. Yep. Those pants are buttonable. Fascinatingly enough. Stop. Huh? The hell I will. We can finish off the family here and now. Take Aerith and get out of here. Hmm. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. Barrett. I'm asking you. Please. Oh, fine. Have it your way then. But you better be right behind us. A soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. <laughs> Ex soldier, I quit. Secure the others. <laughs> hmm. Just the two of us. Well, maybe three. Let's get this Whee! No. Ow! <laughs> Fucking shotgun and bitch ass whore! Ow! What spells did I bring? Oh, Raze is, Raze is real useful for us right now. Mm hmm. Still in it. I'm Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ow! Get off me! Ow! Understood. Think you got my number? Not at all. You're making me sweat. Good thing I came prepared. What are you gonna do? Fucking coin shot me? <laughs> How the fuck does that shit work? That's a new trick. Like it? Ah! I like this. I like how Show you had an ability that. called Think Fast, ah! and I was supposed to like get out of the way or something and because i was fucking stunned you just missed completely good 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 job stop it coin pew 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 well isn't that nice here we go. Okay. Thanks. Try me. Ow. I'm through with you. I'm gonna kill your dog. That's how much I don't like you, Rufus. Ow! 
my guy. Ow. Ow. Hey, Zach. Please. Not bad. Dark Star, get out of here. Oh, God. Ready. Goodbye. Now it's just the two of us. Let's make it a night to remember. Now it's we get to properly run. fight him. Yeah. Oh God! Ready? No! Yeah. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> <Too slow>. <laughs> <laughs> that all? Is that it? Fucking suck it! Ow! Hey, buddy. Help me out. Thanks. Steady. Oh. Ow. Come here. Showtime. You bitch. I'm with you. You'll like this. You missed. Ow, you dick. He hit me. Don't care. Oh, you son of a bitch. That was awesome. Right. Caught you in your reload. <laughs> oh, god damn it. You don't mind if I get some more HP, do you? All right, cool. Oh, oops. Ow. I'm weak. You're so cool. Ready? Right. Okay. Ow. You'll like it. Thanks. Oh! Where were we? Where were we okay. indeed? Die. Oh. I'm gonna kill you through your recovery. I could end this here and now. No, not quite. Tonight marks a new beginning for Shinra. You're fine, Cloud. You've fallen farther than that. Have I ever told you the story about how old German localization of the original FF7 where Rufus became Rufaus? <laughs> it's amazing. I own you has some sexual tension. Oh, hell yeah, it does. Tifa! Thanks. I was getting ready to do some soldier boy shit, you but... You gotta be better than this. If you're gonna play the hero... Grab on, douchebag. <laughs> She's like, look, Cloud, I know you're a twink, but you still weigh a bit, okay? They can manage on their own. You've seen them both in action. You know they can. Besides, what was that? <sighs> Gotta believe they made it out. I hope so. Damn it. Hey. Screw it. We gotta go pay. Hey. What, Red? Get down! Ah. 
sounds fun. We're cool. Everything's cool. Ah! <laughs> Uh, Barrett! Uh, uh, hey, Roji. Uh, 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 not again! You can't stop me! For Biggs, for Jesse, Tifa, and Barrett, too! I'm sorry, Cloud. Ah! Just tell me that that I made a difference. Speaking of the far ghosts. <laughs> hey, still in one piece? Yeah, somehow. Hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Hi. What's up, Hundred Gunner? What's I forget what your name is in this game. Fuck. Open wide. And suck on this. Get ready. I was born ready, red. Let me uh let me just pop into the menu real quick. Hold, hold on a second, okay? All right, hold on, hold on. Uh, Aerith, you really should have a, uh... No, nah, no, nah, you're fine, you're, you're fine. Just commit to the bit, you know? She already has thunder. He has a baby thunder. Well, it'd be much lighter if you dropped the man-sized sword. Uh, yeah, but it's important though. I've seen how many pull-ups Steve can do. She can toss him around like a hacky sack, but the sword though. You know, for someone they really want to keep to alive, they're really trying their best to kill Aerith. I mean, no one said that they were saviors, okay? They may be playing the role, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are accomplishing that right now. I like how the HP up materia that wasn't tied to the AP up is the one that leveled up first. That's cool. Should actually probably give that prayer materia to Aerith. <laughs> the materia in this game suck. Nah, that's good enough. Okay. Don't do that. They are your drones damaged. Override the main cannon safety protocols. Here goes. 
It looks like it's charging up. Huh. I'll blow it to pieces. We gotta give it our all. Just Thundara. Let's not get too carried away. Another. Stop it! Ow! Ow! I was standing there, you asshole! Hey, stop that. Get him! One more shot! Now. Too great. Can you take over for me? Fire and one off. You got this. I'll show you what I can do. You drew you destroyed all my cover. Why don't you lead the way? Watch and learn. Keep fire. Something else. Oh, excuse me. Shinder keeps saying she's important and to keep her alive. Then they shoot at her with the Final Fantasy VII equivalent of an Abrams with another Abrams bolted onto it. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I don't want to summon until I finish killing the drones. There we go. Defensive system compromised. Threat level elevated. Yeah, that that that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Get him. Thanks for coming to help. Ah! Hello. Go Please on. assist. He's charging. look kind of off in this one you're right it's fine the wheels have a shield on them i don't remember the, how to get rid of the shield it's your turn
You missed. You targeted the wrong thing, Barry. I'm coming. Oh, it was apparently weak to that. We gotta do this again. is having a rough time over there. Spot again. Oh. You're up. So it's my turn. Here it comes. Try using it. Dang it, that was the thing that I needed to target, but I didn't get a very long window to target it. Destroying all my cover. Let's pick up the pace. Tagging out. All right. Watch and learn. Bro, he's like, <laughs> you thought that cover was for you. I'm a little busy. I'm counting Here on you. Let's Hi, Julia. See. How shocking. You've got this. Yeah, I'll do it. No, let's use one of these turbo ethers. Okay. Too bright. 
Another. Get him. Why don't you lead the oh way? My. Watch and learn. Damn it, that wheel is almost fucking dead. How shocking. A bonus. Tagging out. About damn time. <laughs> Gotta love it. Uh oh. Look at it! You Alright, you're fine. It. So it's my turn? Too bright. One more. Go on. That's it. Ha! It's your turn. Need my help, do you? <laughs> you again targeted the wrong thing, Barrett. Use your limit break. Don't do that. Um, so it's my turn. Stop targeting the fucking wheels. One more shot. Stop targeting the fucking wheel. You can do it. Watch and learn. Fuck on this. Time for a serious ass whoop. Y'all about to see one hell of a light show. Oh god damn it! It fucking ate health locked again. Man, that feels like such shit. Whoa. This doesn't look good. Any ideas? Take cover behind the bridge. die later tonight yeah cloud and tifa could be dead already the hell they are then we need to find a way we can all escape and quickly you're right let's go <laughs> oh congratulations how what audio inter inter interface did you get Hmm. <sighs> 
Oh, okay. You'll have to let me know how that is, because I know the first gen Scarlets were like, but I've seen more and more people using them lately, so I'm guessing the newer ones don't suck nearly as much as the uh, the first generation did. Have them surrounded, sir. Yes, I can see that. It was only a matter of time, and here we are. <laughs> so then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Avalanche! Local florist! Lab rat dog. <laughs> <laughs> and where are the rest of you? Lab rat Avalanche. dog! <laughs> Charming. Though not what I would have chosen as my last words. Secure the ancient, but feel free to kill both the idiot and the dog. <sighs> Eric, you saved my Marlene. Now, it's time I return the favor. Wait! <sighs> Pee yourself a little. Oh. Why is he always got a Barrett? Stop falling off of trucks. <laughs> Excuse me. How about that fucking goofiness? Okay, Steve, all the vehicles here and you choose that? She needed something that Barrett would fit in. He takes up the entire bed. There's barely room back there for Barrett and Red. Look all at him. Three, Red. Look at I him. Didn't celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. <laughs> Hell, you might even try smiling. Mm. 
On second thought, maybe frowning suits you better. Hey, don't pout. <laughs> Look. Hmm? What is all this? Something wrong, sir. <sighs> I see. Very good. The men are on standby, sir. Your orders. Bring them in. It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Yeah. I don't understand. What are they doing? Who knows? Wait! You don't think he got caught up in it, do you? If he did, I hope he's okay. <sighs> They're coming. Who? <gasps> this we don't need! Time to go. <sighs> Such a certified badass. Pull over. Stop. 
Let me up there where that dude is. There's nowhere to run. Pull over right now. We will use lethal force to make him comply. Up there where that truck is. I'm here. Get ahead of him. There's nowhere to run. I don't believe you. Almost. Just a little bit more. Moth unit. Fuck off. Come here. Google a whole bunch of the different Shinra vehicles. Stop it. Shoot it more. Still it. I'm counting on you. Steady. Keep it up. 
Barrett, you missed. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, though. Get down! Him again! Guess we owe you another! Shit! We got incoming! I'll take the job! The bikes are all yours, Cloud! We can do Ah! Yeah. Fucking soldiers! <laughs> Fuck off! Yeah. There you go. <gasps> Motorball's here. Oh, no, not you dead. <laughs> oh my! The buddy! Oh shit. Come on, you see the piece of shit we're driving here? Says the 300 pound sack of it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Ow, 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 stop. Don't give up now, you guys. Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Thank you. Don't give up now, you guys. I'm not there. Ha, <laughs> nerd, you missed me. Give me those wheels. Oh, I actually need to get onto his other side. I just realized to bust up these wheels, too. Don't give up now, you guys. Slow down a little bit more, Cloud. You're kind of in a hurry. He's got one wheel left you need to get. We gotta give it all. You can do it. Just, just go away. Oh. Give him what's coming to him. Bam, 
Compared to thinking of this whole sequence compared to what it was in ah, <laughs> this fight, um, in 1997, fucking crazy, right? No, come back! We're gonna slash your tires! Give them hell! Oh, oh, hell! Oh! Get ready! Uh, focus. You focus, Cloud. Ah! for me oh you get your ass back here a second back here
We're gonna get that potion energy drink they sell at the vending machines on Midgar Highway. Japan. And you, you're wrong. Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but shadows. Everything about you is wrong. <laughs> All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. The world won't end today. The you. You will. Listen. Destiny comes. We drag our asses all this way. This is the welcome we get. <sighs> boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your honor as a soldier! Come and get it! Why wouldn't everyone hit on Cloud, is what you mean to ask. This is the point of no return. Destiny's crossroads. And why did you stop me? I'm not really sure. What will we find on the other side? Hmm. 
freedom. Boundless, terrifying freedom. Like a great, never-ending sky. What you heard just now were the voices of the planet. Those born into this world, who lived and who died, who returned, are howling in pain. Because of him, Sephiroth? They... Their words... They don't reach him. All these moments and memories, precious and fleeting, they're like rain rolling off his back. And when they're gone, he won't cry or shout or anything. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet, that he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. There's no greater threat to the planet than him. Sephiroth has to be stopped. He has to be. And that's why... I'm asking you to help me. I know that together, we can do this. But if we do... We'll be changing more than fate itself. If we succeed, if we win, we'll be changing ourselves. I guess... Maybe... That's why I hesitated. You said it yourself. He has to be stopped. And frankly, I've heard enough howling for a lifetime. Welcome in, Raiders. Hello. Welcome, Moth and Wolf. It's good to see you. Hello, Napalm Trees. Br bringing those lunges, push ups, squats. Sure, we'll do some of those. So, when you cross the barrier, whisper strange and terrible things. Maybe waiting on the other side before making the leap. Make sure your party is well rested and well stocked at the equipment and materia. Then, if machine back on the success, we will have everything you need. We, we have to do some proper uh, Zach squats, right? We have to do the, the swinging arm Zack squats. You gotta just throw them down, right? This is us getting ready. Getting ready for the end. Getting ready for the end. Yeah, I'm on that spoiler weeb shit, faceless. You like it. You love it. Spoiler weeb shit. Literally at the very end of the game About to go into the final dungeon the final battle Reveal the truth of it all Or the lack thereof depending on your perspective of things Yeah Spoiler weep shit Thank you for the workout, Napalm. Just what we needed before we jump into the end. Hello, Faceless. Goodbye, Faithless. If you're even still here. Those are like poop priming squats. Oh my God. Yeah, so spoiler warning, by the way, we are literally about to start the very end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, at least the base game.
Yeah, you know, we got a bunch of stuffies back there. And mimic you, that's the baby. He's a big lovey baby. Alright. Cloud, we should go. Is it our destiny to defy destiny? It's an interesting question. Played through it a while back, know enough so of what's going on. Through that thing, there's no coming back. Thank you, Cloud. All right, let's save the game. Is there a game plus? Um, sort of. When you beat normal mode, you unlock hard mode. And hard mode is practically its own game because of how it changes the game. Hard mode in Final Fantasy VII Remake isn't as simple about um isn't as simple as the game is just harder never tried to challenge destiny this could well be her last line of defense it won't be easy this game looks so good let's go I feel like yours is about canonical size. Yeah, probably. Just about. Mm. Welcome to timey wimey stuff. True. Mm. You coming, Barrett? Feel like joining us? This wild, wacky adventure. Wouldn't be the first time I spit in Destiny's eye. Whether you can see the scenes or you can't, doesn't change that she's always trying to have it her way. Daddy's coming home real soon, honey. Too, but looks normal to me. Over there. Perfectly normal. Cool shot.
You see me? Wouldn't go that far. <laughs> so that thing. That's a whisper too, huh? Looks a lot more like an arbiter of fate than the others. We can beat them. You too. I have a really bad habit of falling off a of shit. Hello again. Ow. We'll keep it together. Back here. Get out of here now! 
Good job. Fuck you. No holding back. That, did you? Every gay flat is like me, where he never knows that the people Enjoy. like him, dude. Him believing that people would make better choices Enjoy. than to like someone like me. If that poor a decision is that. Just see. A glimpse of tomorrow if we fail here today. guys are right here. Be our future. <gasps> uh, 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 
Good job, Cloud. The future is always a blank page. Uh, them again! Least they could do is give us a little breather. I say we split up. Take them down at the same time. In that case, Ultra Big Boy is all mine. Bring it on, bitch. <laughs> Cloud said, bitch. Get ready. Ow. Kind of Bahamut looking motherfucker, ain't you? Let's do this. Oh, wow. We can do this together. This fight's not over yet. You can do it. Let's do this. Take the lead. I got this. I'll take care of them. Ow. I got this. Don't do, don't, don't, don't do that. That, 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 no, no. Ow. Oh, that's really soft. Kept you waiting? Watch yourself. I should probably this heal up first. <laughs> Can you handle them? Take it over. Okay. It's a good start. You know, it's going well. Shake it off, okay? <laughs> I didn't realize you guys came back. What are you guys doing here? 
bring it. Why can't I? Stop it! No way! That's it! That's much better. Going so good. There. You waiting? Nothing personal. very well. This one's for you. We're almost not fucked anymore. Ow! Fuck! Bring it. Go on. That's it. Hi! Who asked you? That's that. Hope you're ready. Claim that the fart goes for making sure that fate plays out the way it's supposed to. Why are they fighting us? Why are we fighting them? What do they want? So the thing is, is that we know in some capacity that Sephiroth has rewound time and has restarted, remade the timeline. And in some capacity, that is what has happened. Um, and the, the fart ghosts are trying to make sure that the timeline doesn't change. Hope you're ready. Time to finish this. That the original story plays out the way that it is supposed to. That all of the events that happened before, such as, still happen. Barrett wasn't, Barrett wasn't supposed to die in Shinra Tower, right? Um, people weren't supposed to survive things that they survived, stuff like that. And so their mission, their goal is to try to make sure that the things that happen, hap 
the things that are supposed to happen happen and the things that aren't supposed to happen don't happen um and when we when sephiroth cut open a portal of like a, a cut open a tear in destiny we went through it after Aerith did something of her own to it um and so what they're trying to do is prevent us from changing fate from changing destiny because everything that's happening right now that they're trying to prevent us from stepping beyond the course of the the the, the intended plot right Correct. Remake is not necessarily we remade the game. It is actually literal in terms of the timeline Where has been we? remade. I'm waiting, Cloud. <gasps> What the hell is this? This is... <laughs> Sephiroth. Let's finish this. Fate is not to be taken lightly, Cloud. Shut up! Shit! All right, sloppy. Do you dream of me? Yeah. Come, Cloud. Ride for me. You're done. He likes it. I'm ending this. The planet will claim you. Enjoy it. Shit. Will you do it for me? Got it? Yes, within. Beg for forgiveness. Let's try that again. Do you dream of me? <laughs> Cloud, I thought I was ready. That sucked. God damn. Need some help? Don't know about need. Oh. Good to go. 
You know it. Enjoy. <laughs> Be gone. Let's go. My turn. Ow. Dude, you can care a little bit about the counters. I'm just saying. All set. Come on. Let's go. Go in. Now it This won't do much. Uh, it did more than I thought. It pushed him into the next health block. For forgiveness. Don't do that. Get ready. Bring it. Go on. I see you. Try this. What did when, when did you get knocked down and by what? Can you fight? Join up. Here goes. Okay. Let's go. This one's for you. you. So it's my turn. Stop it. Take it over. Thank you. Do you dream of me? On you. I got this. Come on. Gotcha. Get him. You're gonna feel this one. You're up. I'll take care of them. It's your turn. Hang back. These are hard. Stop it. Let me handle this. I'm feeling pretty weak. Okay. <laughs> It's very interesting to me how he always mo the enemies in this game always only target whoever is Enjoy the player head. is currently controlling. I don't know if I necessarily agree with it. Ow, buddy. Keep it together. Damn it. Beg for I'm forgiveness. Coming. Sure. However, I can help. <laughs> One more. Too much. All Just right. a little should help. Gotcha. All set. Here goes. Duty calls. This one's for you. Why don't you lead the way? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Nothing personal. Deal with that. So it's my turn? Fucking go. You fucking punk bitch, get down here. Careful now. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. Our world will become a part of it one day, but I will not end. Nor will I have you end. This is... The edge of creation. <sighs> Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. <sighs> Never. Seven seconds till the end. 
time enough for you, perhaps. But what will you do with it? Let's see. Mr. Vice President. Mr. President. That's right. Wait, was that all of them? <laughs> hey, Cloud, do you see that? Here. Thank you. <gasps> what the fuck? Dude just casually picked up a whole eye beam. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Biggs. Mm. 
Marlene. Coming. Oh. Daddy? I'll come back. So, what now? Sephiroth. Long as he's still out there. I... I thought you beat him. We can. We will. Count me in. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. I'm in too. Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. The sky, I don't like it. I would be lost, drifting alone. <sighs> so that concludes the base game of Final Fantasy VII Remake. They did release a DLC uh, Final Fantasy 7 Intermission, uh, that we will play probably tomorrow, if I had to guess. Um, and it, fo it introduces Yuffie, uh, and, and kind of expands just a little bit on this, but it's mostly an introduction for Yuffie and setting the course for what Yuffie's story is going to be and why Yuffie is where she is, because in the original game, uh, you, you can actually miss Yuffie entirely. Uh, Yuffie, you can, if you don't come across her in the forest and make some very specific decisions when fighting and talking to her, then she won't join your party and you miss out on her and her story entirely. Um, and so obviously they're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yuffie's a core party member um, And so Intermission introduces Yuffie As well as just a couple other Small things that'll affect the grand scale Of things but as part of this replay Thing that we're doing we are going To replay through Intermission as well uh, We'll talk about a bunch of things as we go Through there things that we notice and Kind of like how we've done with this whole playthrough Um so here's the thing that is very interesting about that. So Zach is alive. And as per the threads of fate and destiny and the story that was, Zach was supposed to die at that last stand. He was supposed to. And he didn't. Because Sephiroth opening up 
a a tear in reality to dismantle the the threads of fate essentially meant that nothing is set in stone anymore it means that we don't know what's going to happen next uh we don't know what that means that zach is alive we also don't know what it means in terms of is there more than one timeline obviously zach and zach zach and uh mako drunk cloud walked past in a sense our actual party but we don't know what that means now we do see um in a trailer we've seen it as well as i believe we see it in intermission that zach is shows up and something's happened at midgar we don't know necessarily what's happened at midgar um he's trying to find Aerith. he witnesses like tifa and barrett being injured but we don't know what all of that means right and athena touched on on something very interesting to me some final destination shit, right i have been very diligent in trying to avoid as many spoilers about final fantasy 7 rebirth as possible and i have done a very good job of doing so so far and but there is the question posed of the fuck does this all mean right spoilers for the original final fantasy 7 and what we witnessed when uh cloud and the gang were peering into the the future that was was that Aerith was supposed to die she's supposed to die at the forbidden city at the the city of ancients um and i don't know where rebirth ends but my prediction the entire time would that part two would end somewhere around that point in time because we got a lot of story to go through right we gotta go to calm we gotta have the nibelheim flashback we have to go to the chocobo ranch we have to go uh fight the midgar Zalem. we have to get through mithril caves we have to stop by fort condor maybe we have to go to junon we have to get on the boat and cross from junon over to costa del sol we have to do the stuff at costa del sol we have to travel over mount coral we have to get to coral we have to go through everything at coral which involves a bunch of barrett's backstory we have to go to golden saucer we have to then fall under golden saucer we have to then go to gungaga and cosmo canyon and then after cosmo canyon we have to get to nibelheim and then we go through a bunch of shit at nibelheim again and then after nibelheim we go to rocket town and then after rocket town we go to the temple of the ancients and after the temple of the ancients we go to the city of the ancients and that's relatively where i expect final fantasy 7 rebirth to end but that's a lot to get through and final fantasy 7 remake our playthrough just now was around like 36 hours um and they expanded what was a six a four to eight hour section of the game into 36 hours now some of that is very blatant where they have bloated it in terms of like the drum that we played through today um they also and i i, I do feel like the drum is still just like blatant uh inflation of the game time i don't feel like it adds anything in terms of like fulfilling the story the one thing that it does do is it lets you um play against some more unique enemies that are explained by hojo being fucking weird as shit right things like the brain pod the sword of peed uh the enemies that don't make sense it made sense in the drum and i think that's why they made that but then there's like the expansion of jesse's story in chapter four um and so that's where we see a lot of speaking of jesse she's on the screen right now we see that expansion and they we know that they've done that with rebirth as well and rebirth probably covers around 20 hours of the original game if we set the original game at around a 40 hour playthrough and rebirth i believe is around a hundred hours so by the way when we start rebirth we're gonna be playing it for fucking ever just as like a, a warning a heads up on that we're gonna be playing rebirth for a fucking while um i do intend to try and take some time off work here and there to like put in some like larger streams and stuff uh but it's gonna be a bit uh not be a bit before i can take off work but it's gonna be a bit before we finish rebirth that's gonna be a fucking journey but zach's alive and rochi you pointed out earlier that dog wasn't right there was the chip bag that flew across the screen and it had a stamp on it the dog that avalanche uses as a representation um and you are correct 
through while we were playing through the game, it was a beagle. And then after the timeline is fractured in some way, in some circumstance, it turns into a terrier. And the, the only... I don't think that there is a, a meaningful significance to the type of dog, but I think it's meant to designate um, that we are in a different timeline, that in this timeline, Stamp was a terrier the entire time instead of a beagle. And maybe we'll see that as a representation of an easier way to understand which timeline you're in. Uh, we don't know if Stamp is still a beagle in the timeline that Cloud is in. If there's even more than one timeline, if it's a new timeline, if it's, we don't know. I mean, I'm sure some people know because I'm sure it's been explained in Rebirth at this point and people have been playing the shit out of it and people have beat it and all that shit, but I don't know. But we do know that the Whispers, the Arbiters of Fate, the Whispers of Destiny, the, the fart ghosts, as Roshi so affectionately called them, do still exist in Rebirth. And their mission is still to try as much as they can to keep the original plot line as the plot. That is what's supposed to happen, right? And so that would mean that Aerith is supposed to die. Now, I see a lot of things potentially happening in that circumstance. If I could see Zack taking her place, which would be just as devastating, Oh my God, please no. Um, I could see Aerith accepting that fate because she believes that it needs to happen as well. Um, because like whether it pushes Cloud forward or it allows her to rejoin the planet to where in the original game after she, after she, after, after she dies, uh, she rejoins the planet and is then able to help fight Sephiroth from inside the planet. Uh, so she does a lot of work in that capacity and she wouldn't be able to if she's still alive. So I could see her being like, no, this, this has to happen. You have to let me go. We won't be able to win otherwise. Like I have to die so that everyone else can live, right? They're going to hurt us for sure. I think absolutely 100%. Um, and like if it's one timeline, so I, I find, I have found and discovered that I handle death pretty well. The thing that I don't handle well is other people's reactions to it, right? Like, I can accept that someone is lost and someone is gone pretty easily um, because that's just the way things work. Uh, my brain's weird. But the thing is, is that I'm extremely emotional and I am very receptive to other people's emotions. So when other people are upset about someone dying, I that that's what gets me. Not that that person is gone, but that the other people are suffering because someone is gone. And so regardless of how that plays out, we could see a potential reality where Zack has to witness Aerith's passing. That's not gonna go well. Uh, if Air or, or Aerith has to witness Zack's passing, that's not gonna go well. Um, there's a lot of things that could play out in that aspect. But one thing we do know is that there's some weird freaky mumbo jumbo shit going on, timey wimey some like people people call the end of Final Fantasy 7 remake some um some 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 Kingdom Hearts bullshit and I really don't think it is. I think it would like I, I I think they only say that because the arbiter of fate at the end he does kind of look like a giant heartless, but otherwise I don't think it feels anything like Kingdom Hearts really. And I think regardless of how that plays out, what the whispers do, um I don't think it'll feel like Kingdom Hearts. I think it's going to feel like the the story that we just played through of somebody of a, of a group of people trying to defy fate for one reason or another. Cloud took it like the psychopath he is back then. He, yeah. Uh, and so, you know, it's it'll be interesting to see how this plays out as a whole. Um, because I believe Aerith, we see through this first entry in the trilogy that Aerith is aware of everything that's happening. Aerith knows that this is not the original timeline, that time has been rewound or remade or whatever. She knows that Sephiroth is wrong, that he is not, he, he's, he's out of place, right? Like he is an anomaly, something that shouldn't be. Like everything about him is wrong. You are wrong. And I think it's because the Sephiroth that we're dealing with is a Sephiroth from the end of time. 
because in that final sequence there, Sephiroth is standing watching at the edge of creation and is like, you know, our planet's going to join it one day, but I won't. Because I think something about Sephiroth's um, will or legacy or whatever means that, like, he can't die. Even when the planet dies, he doesn't die. And that sounds like, you know, an atrocity. Um, and I think that's part of what he's trying to do. I don't think Sephiroth necessarily is a bad guy here. I think Sephiroth might have recreated the timeline in hopes of trying to find a timeline where, as Athena pointed out, he doesn't end up lonely as hell at the end of creation. Like the world and the and everything about it is over, and I remain on this fucking rock in the middle of space. What the fuck can I do to make this not happen? <laughs> right? Um, but that's just another wild guess, right? It could be so many other things. So we get to play this through the DLC, and then we get to begin our journey in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is going to be a crazy, weird, wacky, wild ride um, because they just full sent it. We watched all the trailers to Rebirth a while back, and we got to see, like, Red 13 riding on a chocobo and Barrett in a sailor costume and and the the crazy, wacky things that Final Fantasy has kind of always known, been known for, but also was the, the comedic relief of Final Fantasy VII that was so badly needed because Final Fantasy as a franchise is a pretty dark tale to tell every time. And it's the comedic and weird and wacky that makes it digestible because so many things, even in just the sequence of remake itself, if it wasn't for the ability of laughing at Scarlet using a guy as an ottoman or Cloud in his dress or, you know, the, the badassery of Tifa doing pull-ups or whatever, right? If it wasn't for the, the moments where it you get a chuckle, where it, it lightens itself up a little bit, even just what we played through would be hard because so much of it is dark and and menacing and beats you down emotionally and is meant to just drain away so much of your your hope in a lot of ways and the fact that they make it through it is you're like thank god because if this had a bad ending i would just be depressed although i have to look something up right real quick Okay, so there's one thing that we do have to watch because talking about how Aerith knows more. Okay, so when we were getting ready to go save Aerith, okay, when we were getting ready to go rescue her, uh, we woke up in the middle of the night and we went outside and Tifa was waiting outside. And that's where Tifa had a little bit of a breakdown. Uh, Cloud finally gave her a hug. There is a way, I don't know the way, but there is a way that you can have Aerith waiting outside. Now, it is not actually her, um, but I hope, oh, is this like, hang on. Uh, Aerith Garden Scene Remake 4K. The Aerith dream sequence. Okay, cool. Two years ago, that would fit in line with when it was available on PC. So we're going to watch this. So there's the ability for Aerith to be out there instead of Tifa. How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. 
You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So, it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... <sighs> you need to embrace this moment. Right? I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared. For all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Even if you think you have, it's not real. <sighs> Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want, thank you. So that is the dream sequence that I don't know how to trigger. Um, but the important thing about that dream sequence is that she tells Cloud, you can't fall in love with me. And there's a very important reason why. We already talked about it. Aerith dies. And one of the important things about that is it feels like... We and, uh, and that's one of those things of like, oh, Aerith is telling Cloud not to fall in love with him uh, and fall in love with her because she knows she's going to die and she doesn't want Cloud to be hurt by that. And the even if you think you have, it's not even real could also allude to the way that Z Cloud has his memories kind of confused with Zack's and that makes you kind of feeds into the Zach does very much love Aerith and Aerith loves Zach a lot too. Right. And so it's like, you know, is what you're talking about real, you know, like, or is it just something that you've created in your head because you've taken so much of Zach into yourself? It's hard to say, but it does feed in even more to the Aerith already knows everything. Um, but she's also very clearly said, you know, the, 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 Future is a blank page. They don't know what it is anymore, especially after they crossed the the threshold, the point of no return, the threshold of fate. Um, so really now it could be fucking anything, right? Could be almost anything. So real quick, chapter selection has now been unlocked. You can go uh, you can go do unaccomplished tests, find story elements your first time through. More importantly, explore thoroughly explore Midgar. Hard difficulty is now unlocked. Items can't be used and HP is restored at rest spots. Um, certain manuscripts are only available in this difficulty setting. There's a play log. 
Uh, there's also new stuff at the combat simulator as well as at the arena. So there is a pretty healthy post game. So we'll save that there. Our final play time was 36 hours. Um, I think if we go back to the title screen. Yeah, that's fine. I just saved. And intermission. Yeah, it's about four, four to five hours. That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. Um, we've already, I actually still have my save, uh, from, from when we played through it, uh, a while back, back in, uh, June of 2021, it looks like. Um, so we do have, uh, about four hours that we get to play through for the intermission sequence. But yeah, I was so pissed that they killed her off. I put a ton of time into Aerith because they basically gave me an OP mage and I powered level her. Just missed having her level four limit break. Yeah, I mean that I think that was part of the the power of that though, because like you permanently feel the loss, right? Like you feel the loss of Aerith's limit breaks. You feel the loss of having your best mage. Although I mean Kate Sith is a pretty good mage too. But you lose your your best mage. You always are able to feel the loss of Aerith because even in like party setup when you're looking at the phs there's always a blank spot where Aerith is supposed to be because there's nine slots right and it's like where where's that like there's a, a empty spot there that wasn't there before that happened so even when you're going to change your party members out you're still kind of reminded uh what you have lost and what is what you are still pushing forward for right so anyway so that concludes the base game we'll play through the dlc like i said probably tomorrow unless something changes uh and then i should have the stuff ready to oh shut up me how dare you um we can open up the final fantasy 7 rebirth box and get started on it so let's see how could you have resisted unpacking that box until now? I had a guy, so I, I don't know this person. I joined a group of friends who were playing Helldivers and someone else was in the call and they were talking about Rebirth. And I was like, yeah, I haven't opened my collector's edition yet. And they're like, you haven't even started playing it yet? And I'm like, nope. Um, and they, they're like, how, fucking how? And thankfully my best friend, Tony was there. He's like, he's a content creator. And he's like, I don't give a shit. I still don't understand how you're not playing this game right now. And I'm like, well, I'm not. <laughs> uh, where are we going? Mm, where are we going? I haven't raided Shay in a while. Let's go, let's go pay Shay a visit. All right, everyone. This is the Ray. Oh, well, these, these are my socials. If you haven't already followed me on social media, please consider doing so. Discord, uh, threads, Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky, uh, whatever fits your fancy. Also got the YouTube channel links there. This is the raid message. If you're not a subscriber, everyone, you can... Uh, unlock that raid swan for 100 channel points and it'll be available to you for the next 24 hours uh, and you are able to use it on other people's channels which means that you can use it on the raid i hope to see you again tomorrow thank you so much everyone for being here we'll get through intermission tomorrow and we'll start up rebirth next week so thank you so much i hope you're all having a good night i just realized i forgot to turn on mix it up so we're not going to have any credits but alas here we are bye everyone <laughs>